Hi guys, I was about to go on a video and have a workout for you guys that are locked down uh, but I just realised there's not a lot um, of content on talking about nutrition and what you should be doing while you're at home not moving a lot and not going to work. So a couple of weeks ago I did a post on Instagram on my page talking about four tips on how to lose weight. So we all know that uh, exercise is not the best way to lose weight uh, however you probably heard a saying that you can't out train a bad diet so that's what we're going to talk about today so if we can kind of change that post that I did the other day or a couple of weeks ago so if we could put number five as exercise so yes exercise is great for us because we're not doing much at the moment I mean UK is in a lockdown so we're just all stuck at home some of us going to work, key workers but for those who are stuck at home you're not really doing much you're not commuting, you're not walking, uh, cycling, or however you get to work. But we're all stuck at home, so that's kind of an issue, and that's what we should be exercising. But it's not really the best way to lose weight uh, or manage a diet. So we put exercise as number five. Yes, it's great, but it's not the best way to lose weight. So number four, calorie counting. is super simple. It's basically you only eat what you need and not excessive amounts. So uh, to help with that, you probably need to download something like uh, an app, uh, my fitness pal, or if you want to do manually, you can count it manually. But it's basically if you count how many calories your body needs just to survive and kind of maintain that homeostasis, as in just like plateau, no, no exercise, no excessive movement, then you'll be surprised how little you need. I'll put a link below or an equation how to calc calculate that. Uh, but you, even if you download my fitness pal, put in your uh, weight and BMI and all that it will tell you roughly what calories you need and you'll be surprised how little it is. So moving on to number three so if you are calorie counting and you haven't got that many calories throughout the day hopefully you're eating the right foods uh, but if you're so restricted on how many calories you can eat you would be thinking oh my, my meals can't be that big uh, they're not going to be enough so that's why intermittent fasting comes in so fasting is pretty much skipping a meal or basically having that window of eating 14, 16 hours. So let's say you skip the breakfast, your first meal is at 12 and your last meal was at 6. So that was a 6 hour window where you can eat and the rest you can't eat at all. Or you can drink coffee or tea but no no calories throughout that rest of, a, rest of the day. In terms of intermittent fasting there's so many benefits. I'm not going to talk about them today but in terms of um, weight loss it is great because what we do overnight we fast. That's why Breakfast is a break of your fast. Uh, but if you're going to extend that fast by not having a breakfast, you're going to keep on tapping into your body fat storage and at the moment really need to get rid of it because we're all stuck at home. Then we're moving into number two, low carb diet. So why low carb diet is because if you're eating low carb, that means no processed foods, no sugars, very low carb vegetables. It's not really a difficult thing at the moment because uh, UK lockdown, everyone just emptied shelves of pasta. So that's quite good because you can't get any pasta anyway, no rice. So you want to stick to is fresh veg, meat if you can. It can be frozen as well, it doesn't really matter. We want to eat meat and vegetables, very low uh, glycemic index uh, fruits like raspberries, blueberries. Anyway, so you can have some fruits. Uh, or more like berries uh, and stick to kind of like nuts and seeds no processed carbohydrates at all so that will make you basically eat just real foods and vegetables and that will make you full uh, or feeling full for longer and obviously help with uh, losing weight and then number one doing all the above again if you if you combine all of it start with exercising if you can that'd be great because then you again burn another couple hundred calories Instead of cutting your calories even more, you just burn them off your body. Before, if you don't eat that much, that's great because, to be honest, we don't really need that much at the moment in, in this state. Unless you're really exercising at home, you've got a home gym, then yes, you can probably up your calories to kind of maintain that body mass. Then, if you're exercising and counting your calories and you restrict that to about six or eight hour window, that's even better. So, it's like sticking to about two meals a day rather than having free spread out throughout the day and then end up snacking as well. So put some restriction on, on your diet. And then eating uh, a low carb or at least real foods as in like vegetables, uh, meats and no glycemic index fruits like bananas and stuff. So even though it's a tough 
tough time for everyone at the moment. It's not in a way because we have so much control of what we can do at the moment. We can't get out, we can't exercise, we don't have to go out for dinner with our mates, we don't have to go to a pub where people have excuse of, oh, I had to go out and I had to eat this or I couldn't say no to that and this. At the moment you're really stuck at home, you can control everything around you unless you have kids, so I'm not really sure about that. But like, you can sit at home, prep your meals, you cook it, you know when you can eat it, you can set times, you can wake up at a certain time as well. So there's, there's so much control that you have, so we shouldn't be uh, complaining or even saying that, you know, it is difficult to control your diet at the moment. It's not, like, really, we have so much control, more than usual. So really put in uh, rules, times, write a schedule, plan ahead, and it should be really easy at this moment. And another thing is make a routine because uh, this is not Christmas, this is not your birthday, this is not a holiday, it's not like two or three weeks where you can say, I'll just take a break and it'll be fine, I'll write it off and then come back, train hard and, you know, diet hard. But I don't know if you watched last week's or last weekend's announcement, it could be more than a couple of months and up to six months. So really this will be our lifestyle, this will be us for a long time ahead. So uh, if you had your week or two of self-isolation, quarantine and, you know, lockdown, that's fine. But I think it's time to start and get into like a proper routine. This is your work, this is your routine, this is your daily this is your daily routine, really. That's it. Like this is what life's gonna be. So guys, check out the post. Uh, again, five tips uh, on how to lose your weight, how to maintain it, or you know, just just be healthier uh, overall. So you've got the control. Uh, make your routine a little bit better, a little bit healthier, and then I'll I'll see you later. Take care.